Well, this was kind of a speedy trial. I was kind of watching some of it because I wanted to see what the outcome was going to be. I mean, everybody in here is just a hot mouth. Baldwin mainly, though. Mind you, yeah, it, I, I would agree. Okay, yeah, it's her job to come on set and say you can't be acting a reckless, you know, person. But if you guys followed the history of Alec, of Alec Baldwin, he is out of control. Like, he completely will beat up people, tells his daughters off. He's quite, you know, a problem in this. Do I think she deserves up to 18 months in prison? No, but that's, like, up to. Um, I don't know what they're going to give her. Um, I don't know. Well, I agree. Yeah, he's intimidating. Like, they're saying this. Like, people have a problem with him um generally but again it was her job so it's like an accidental thing but reckless behavior people need to be in trouble for their reckless behavior do i think she's the main part of the problem hell no so then they go okay so they found her guilty of involuntary manslaughter and not guilty of tampering with evidence they were trying to force this thing on us and i was like oh no Okay, so they were trying to put all the blame on her. No, but everybody's kind of going down. So the one guy went down, plea, bargain, whatever, pleaded guilty, whatever. So now she is going to face up to 18 months or can face up to 18 months and then will be sentenced at a later date. Okay, so she, you know, is going to sit in between this. A judge ordered that she be taken into custody and held until her sentencing. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, so then they showed little emotion as the jury uh, read the verdicts, and she took off a necklace before a deputy put her into custody, and her mother, seated behind her, put her hands in her head, bent forward as the judge ordered her uh, remanded into custody pending sentencing. The next two-week criminal trials centered around 2021 shooting. During the prosecution prosecution's closing argument on Wednesday, special prosecutor Kari told the jury that uh, Gutierrez was negligent, and she was careless, and she was thoughtless. Morrissey also said that the following the fatal shooting was Armour was more worried about her career and less about the victims. Um, but Gutierrez attorney Jason Bell said that the prosecution had not proved beyond a reasonable doubt that Gutierrez was responsible for bringing live rounds onto the set and alleged that Baldwin was ultimately responsible for um, Hutchins' death. I submit to you what caused her death is Mr. Baldwin going off script. No one ever knew there were a live round on set and the only act is the pointing of the weapon. And Miss Gutierrez didn't point that weapon. Okay, yeah, so they have they have a point there. So regardless if, let's just say, okay, accidentally a thing went into the gun. Alec was doing things that were against the safety rules and everything, and he was wanting to do things really quickly, apparently. It'll all come out in his trial. I, I believe that he's going to get go down to with the rest of them. Alec's conduct and his lack of gun safety in the church that day is something he's going to have to answer for and not with you today, but that's for another jury for another day. Okay, so they said pretty much not checking the weapons was a major factor in his decision. Just handing them over like here and not checking, that was a big deal, okay? I mean that you can't do that. And if you have live rounds there and you don't even know it, yeah, because if you're checking things, then you would have caught it, right? So, yeah, there was negligence in that portion. Okay, so. um, But there's major negligence in pointing the gun all over the place. And, yeah, so, like, they all played their part in this thing. And, but I, I believe, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's Alex's fault. Um, because he's the producer person. He was also acting crazy, as he always is, because that's his character, and he's never got busted, really, for anything. And it finally came to a head here in this case. It really did. His, 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 be, his conduct is so bad that if you were going to 51, if you had a choice of 51, 50, any of these, like, celebrities, it would have, it should have been him. Like, eons ago. For some reason, he just gets away with acting like the total psychotic. 
they go after women all the time. They try to put this entire case on this girl. And I was like, mm, that can't be the case. And then they try to paint her as like this total drug addict um, who was just like out of control. And they just were bringing guns and carelessly doing all this stuff. Um, that's to win a case, but that they didn't get her on that. Um, okay, so they said there, there wasn't much disagreement among jurors on the tampering with evidence charge, which involved cocaine. Okay, cocaine. We just th didn't think it was necessary. There was nothing there. Yeah, on that thing, even if she did, let's just say hypothetically she did, her 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 worry is, oh, the cops are going to try to bust me for just even having drugs. Like, something like that. It's like a non-related, it's like that side thing. But did it have a direct link into the conduct here? Um, well, they couldn't prove that. They couldn't prove that she was on it that day. They couldn't prove, I think it was that. I didn't watch the case itself i was watching i was watching the legal arguments and where they almost weren't gonna let that be brought up there was like a whole thing to it and i was like what the hell and some of it's just total hearsay it's like some person said oh she did this i don't know it's really weird and if that was the case let's put it like this okay so i've been talking about when i went on sets that all these people were on drugs i mean big time um Okay, if they're going to take one person down for it, then you need to take the whole production down for it because they are aware that those people are on drugs on sets. But on the sets that I was on, it didn't revolve around having a gun. And so, therefore, you know, I mean, some other, other conduct could happen from people acting that way, such as me getting verbally abused on a set, which did happen. Um, you could have other accidents occur. So it's not a thing where they didn't know people were on drugs, but it wouldn't be one person. It was like a tank of people because they're working night and day and they totally were doing, they were doing meth or coke, something, you know what I mean? They were on stuff. You could tell, you know, when people are tweaking to hell and then they start overreacting and start going into these rages, it, it would be a fact, it would, it would be the production's fault. If they were allowing a re come on set on drugs, just put it that way. Um, and they were aware of it. Like, like I was saying back in the day, like nobody even cared. She said in a statement that prosecutors sold uh, pursuits were bring justice to Helena Hutchins family and friends to ensure that wait, those responsible for her death were held accountable. Yeah. So just being negligent, just not purposely trying to kill anybody being negligent is um, reason to get somebody on manslaughter. Like, I agree with what they're saying here. Um, throughout the trial, a series of eyewitnesses who, wait, who were on set took on, took stand, including Sousa, who recounted what it was like to be shot and the confusion that ensured. I, he's like, nothing made sense. Um, Gutierrez, in the incident here, her repeatedly saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Joel. Described the feeling of being shot as though someone had taken a baseball bat to my shoulder. But he said he didn't realize he had been injured by a live round of ammunition. And when medical personnel informed him at the hospital, it could not compute for me. Um, an emotional health testified that he should have checked the gun more thoroughly, admitting that he did an improper check of the firearm. Yeah, so they admitted that. Wells went on to say that he did not recall seeing Gutierrez spin the entire cylinder around to ensure all bullets were dummy rounds. While wiping away tears, he said, I let a safety check pass. During opening statements, okay, sloppy, unprofessional. Okay, they said that her conduct was behavior and rest was sloppy and unprofessional. And we believe that it was negligent acts and failure of the defendant that contributed to Mitch H Miss Hutchins' death. Well, it's also the projection's fault. So right there, like if somebody's acting unprofessional and sloppy, then the production is at fault to make sure that that, that they, they need to make sure that everybody's being professional here, right? So, yeah, I mean, they're not on their own on that portion, <laughs> if that's true. Um, they asked Wednesday in court that Reed be allowed to remain free pending sentence, saying that she had she has voluntarily appeared at every hearing and they declined and ordered her held. The reason why I'm going to remind, remand you is you are now convicted and this is a death. It's criminal negligence, but it's still a death. Um, 
I don't know if I, that's just, okay, a sentencing date was not set before the court went into recess, but Bowles said that he had time for the sentencing in April, and they said that, okay, Bowles said they will appeal, okay. I don't know what's going to legally happen with this. They're probably going to go back to ballot battle. I don't know if she's going to get out in be between any time, but um, are we ever going to find out who brought the, the thing on the set? I mean, everybody's trying to blame everybody, and then she thinks, I don't know the answer to it. They're saying her, but then, you know, I don't know. Alec Baldwin needs to so go down. I've always been on this case that he's like the main factor. Because some of the things that popped up in the case was him acting like totally crazy. And he's like, let's go, let's go. Like doing all this crap and going against her. So they're saying her job was to control Alec. Can you imagine? Like, can you control Alec? Nobody can control Alec. Alec can't, was a beating up on the freaking paparazzi. Nobody can control Alec. He beats up on men. Who can control Alec? That's what I'm saying. I go, that's kind of, I know it's her job. I know it's her job, but the reality is who's going to control, I'll control Alec. No, but I mean, that's the reality of it. Who's going to control Alec? He can't control himself. And so, okay, so she got what happened to her. Now, if he, he has to get like the most in this, because if he doesn't, this thing is a joke. People are trying to paint him out as some innocent actor that just like, I don't know what, but it's like he's lying and saying that he didn't turn, he didn't pull the trigger. It's like the gun does not magically go off. Okay. So also the way his actions are on the set and they brought it up in this thing. But yes, that's what I'm saying. I go, it's his actions and he was uncontrollable. He's just uncontrollable. Can we go back to his history? Their entire family is a hot mess. Their entire family is a hot mess. Their parents, everything. What in the hell? Workplace safety. Regular regulator says management failed in fatal shooting of Alec Baldwin. Wait, shooting by I was like shooting of Alec Baldwin. <laughs> the shooting by Alec Baldwin. Yes. That would include him because that's his production. He's the one that wants to act careless. He's the one that held the gun. That's totally true. But everybody played their part. So that's the truth of it all. So somebody didn't check things properly. Somebody didn't, uh, the second portion didn't check it properly. So they all have their little guilty portions in the story. And then Alec is the one that's psychotic. So, and it's his production. So I think he should get the worst of it all. Honest to God. That's where I think it lied from the beginning. And I still stand with that. I think it's just gross that he tried to throw it all on just this woman right here. And that's why I had a problem with it. I go, oh, of course you would do that, Alec. Um, and everybody else in the story. But there's multiple people that played their part. That's just the same thing with um, what they call rape culture. Everybody's playing their part. Everybody has their little thing where they're adding to the mass story of horror. And everybody should be accountable. Somebody died. Someone got injured. Somebody, you know, it's those things. You can't just sit there and say, oops, it was just an accident because we're a bunch of assholes. 